Hey folks, Seabreeze able to come to life today, triggering those isolated showers we've been talking about, and there they are kind of lining right through the middle to upper part of the valley as we speak. A few kind of racing out ahead of it, some kind of lagging behind, but the line is actually kind of right down in through here. You see what's left. Pretty good shower. Boy, Edinburgh getting hit hard just a little while ago. That's now over to about 10th Street, where 10th and 107 meet, then down to about Trenton. Here's Trenton right here, so you can see where the, the southern edge of that is. And then back in uh, the eastern side of Edinburgh, out toward uh, Cesar Chavez, Alamo Road, some pretty good rain there. Down to the south, Alamo Road from uh, Ridge Road all the way down to 281. Seeing some pretty good rain in that area. Also, South 10th Street down here near Hidalgo, and then some more back to the west near Mission. So it's just a scattering of showers. A little thunder and lightning left. There was quite a bit earlier, especially around Ed Couch and Elsa. That has since kind of faded a little bit. We've just got spotty stuff left over. Things should continue to just kind of fade out over the next couple of hours, but it might take that long for it to happen. So from about McAllen on westward, you can still pick up a shower, a thunder shower this evening, but then by about 8 o'clock, it's all out of here, maybe even before that. I think tomorrow's a mainly dry day. I can't completely rule out a shower in one location tomorrow, but it should be a dry day for the most part across about 98% of the valley. Same thing Thursday, it should be a dry day as well. And Friday at this point looks dry, although the European model is starting to hit a little moisture sneaking in Friday into Saturday, giving us an isolated shower. We'll have to see. Right now we're going with a dry forecast through the end of the week and the weekend, but there is some uncertainty about Friday and Saturday. Maybe Maybe an isolated shower then. We'll keep an eye on that. 92 in Rio Grande City right now. Same thing in Edinburgh. 92 Brownsville. 88 in Port Isabel at this hour. The normal high is 95. And now with that chance of rain going away, we're back to above normal. 96, 97, 96. Records won't be threatened. We're right about where we're supposed to be for the middle part of July. That surge of moisture came in during the daytime today, triggering those showers. That's what we were tracking out in the middle of golf yesterday. Not much left with that. Now, a little moisture will kind of continue to feed in tonight, but after that is gone, by tomorrow afternoon, we should be dry and we should stay that way. Again, the European model, this is not the European, this is the NAM, but the European model suggests that maybe Friday enough moisture sneaks in for a spotty shower, but at this point, that's the only model that's suggesting that. Tropics kind of active, but nothing coming our direction. The remnants of Barrel down here, and then Chris up there, which is now a hurricane. Chris has winds of 85 miles per hour. Remnants of Barrel are going to kind of stay out here east of the U.S. Barrel also, or Chris rather, also becoming a hurricane, but moving off to the northeast. Look where this ends up. North of the United Kingdom by the end of the weekend. The remnants of it certainly by then bringing some rain perhaps to that part of the world. Here's what we have for you for tonight then. 77, partly cloudy, warm and humid. East, southeasterly winds. Then tomorrow back up to 96. Plenty of sunshine. Another warm day and this one probably rain free. Southeast winds at about 10 to 20. I think our rain chances are pretty much gone for a while. We've turned the faucet off. We'll keep an eye on Friday, Saturday right now. Just some indications maybe a shower could sneak in, but at this point, staying with a dry forecast, at least for now, that holds all the way into the middle of next week. That is your updated First Born 5 forecast.